Today we're going to be talking about something new. It's the new Royal Navy Dockyard Walking Tour, uh, right around the site of the Royal Military College of Canada. And uh, with me today are uh, uh, Frank Normans, who is secretary of the Friends of Point Frederick, which is a newly incorporated charity, and uh, Art Jordan, who is the project manager of this uh, new walk. How did you decide to do a walking tour? How did that come about? Who, how, who got together and said, you know, we should put oh, together a walking tour? This one's tour yours, Frank. <laughs> this one's mine? Oh, yes. I asked a question at a meeting of the uh, Heritage and Museum Committee of uh, the Royal Military College. And it was, had we made an application for any of the federal funds which the government had put aside for, to commemorate the War of 1812? And the answer was, well, yes, we went forward and decided we really wanted to do a reenactment group. And the Department of National Defense said, no, you can't do that. And I turned and said, no, but I'm talking about the Heritage Canada funds. Oh, we can't apply. I said, what do you mean we can't apply? Well, we're a federal government department, and you're not allowed to have one department funding another department's mm -hmm. ideas. Yeah. And I said, well, what do we need to do? Well, we need to get somebody to sponsor us. In the short term, that became the Museum of, of the Great Lakes, the Marine Museum, who took on the responsibility of doing the application. And they're, in fact, responsible for it. The process of putting it together then turned around and I turned to a chum by the name of Art Jordan and said, Art, I've got a job for you. How would you like to come and do this? There's no money in it because uh, we haven't got any money coming in yet. The government told us in December of uh, 1912 that we were going, or pardon me, 2012, that we were going to be getting uh, the money. We got the check on the 2nd of April. And 156 days later, just as the length of time it took to build St. Lawrence, we opened the tour to the public. So this is, a, 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 I think, a new exciting tour that, uh, that people in Kingston really should take advantage of. You walk on the tour and you go pretty much around the RMC campus. Where do you go to start the tour? The tour starts uh, right in, in the inner grounds across from uh, uh, the... Uh, foundation of the Royal Military College uh, building, the old gym and whatnot. In fact, if you're on the tour trolley, it, the tour trolley is going to stop right there in front of that building starting this spring. Okay. And uh, that's where the, the tour will start. There is a map, uh, the, the brochures that are available at the tourist information booth across from uh, City Hall, and they'll also be available at the college. There are more people who come on the point on a daily basis to do running as opposed to uh -huh. anything else. They don't normally stop, uh, although I think some of them are stopping at the storyboards now. Mm -hmm. We have equally uh, some parking which will be available outside of Penny House uh, for a period, short period of time, which will allow people to come in, park, go and do the tour, and then leave from there. But actually the hop-on, hop-off uh, tour bus is probably going to be the major means of people accessing. Mm -hmm. Some people might not realize is that you can actually go into RMC. Uh, there's no big gate or security check to keep people out. It's, it's a federally funded university and this tour goes right around RMC. Uh, instead of turning left to go up to Fort Henry, you turn right to go into RMC and, and uh, you, you do the tour on your own. Uh, isn't that something that, I, I, my impression is that some people have that, think that it, RMC is closed off to the public somehow. Terra incognita, I think, would be the way that you want to uh, talk about it. The largest group of people who went in there was when uh, we did the Tragically Hip concert. And that caused no end of consternation because the military wasn't asked and away we went from there. The college knew about it. Uh, it gives the impression that it's closed. It's the only federally funded university in this country. Uh, you and I, and uh, are you paying taxes these days, yes, Art? Indeed. Okay, and Art. <laughs> the taxpayers of Canada pay for the place, so of course we have an opportunity to open it up. The new fence doesn't help, but that's a personal opinion. Rest assured that the current commandant of the college is more than happy to see people come and visit their university. Okay. Well, thank you very much uh, for joining me, uh, Art and Frank, on, on today's show. I really encourage uh, all the residents of uh, Kingston, the islands, and the surrounding areas 
uh, to go visit the Royal Military College of Canada, check out the, the campus, do the walking tour. Uh, it is the federally funded uh, university in Canada, paid for by your tax dollars and, and training the leaders of the Canadian Forces. Uh, a lot of work has gone into this tour. I've seen the panels, they're beautiful. Thank you. Uh, the views, uh, they're, they're really well placed uh, views and, and uh, uh, it's a great walk to take your, your family on and, and learn a bit of the local history. So thank you very much for working on that project and for coming in today to talk about it. Thank you, Ted. Thanks. Thank you. Join me uh, the next time. Thank you very much for uh, uh, joining us today, but join me next time on The Local View on TV Kojiko with Ted Shu, your Member of Parliament for Kingston and the Islands.